Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. Today's snapshot is 15W51A and this may just be the last snapshot of this year. And the reason that I'm making this video is to let you know that Mojang have announced that there will be no more snapshots for two to three weeks. So the next snapshot could be the first week of January or maybe the second week. And it might just be likely that I don't do a video on that either because... Um, as you've seen, I haven't done videos on the last couple of snapshots because there is just so little to talk about at the moment. They're doing tons and tons of bug fixes, but none of them are really game changers or things that you'd need to know going from 1.8 to 1.9. And uh, it's the same for this snapshot as well, really. There's just a handful of changes worth mentioning. And so I wanted to make this video to inform you as to what's going on. So that's why there hasn't been... Um, a couple of snapshot videos recently from me and why they won't be for the next couple of weeks. Okay, so now I'm randomly killing myself and placing a block below me and this is because I'm doing an experiment. After I finished recording this video, I found out that actually um, there was a new game rule added to the snapshot and I've sussed out exactly uh, what it does by doing this simple test. So the game rule is called, let's uh, type it in so we can bring it up, a spawn radius and you can set this to a different number at the moment it's 32 I've tested it with 10 and also with 2 and by doing this I have figured out what it's for um, the world has you know spawn chunks and it actually has a single block or a point which is the spawn of the world and that is somewhere over here because I've been doing some testing as I said um, so where you see these pink blocks that's where I set the spawn radius to 2 so I'm thinking it's probably quite likely actually that somewhere here is where the center of the world is or the spawn of the world and the orange blocks are from a test where the radius was set to 10 and that's the default by the way and then I did a test with 32 which is the red blocks. So every Minecraft world has one of these locations known as the world spawn and when the player respawns it's in a random position 10 blocks around where that is. So I figured a way that we could demonstrate that this is what's going on if we um, set the world spawn over here. This is now where the world spawn is. So if we set the radius to just one block and then we kill ourselves, um, you'll see that we'll be over here now. In fact, I need to sort of mark the area, don't I? Um, so we put down a block and yeah, we're now over here and not over there. So that's how that works. And so now we're going to cut back to the footage that I recorded earlier. So in this snapshot, the glow effect has been Improved. This is what you can do with a spectral arrow when you shoot an entity or if you use the effect command um, You can make the mob glow as you can see we can see um, Some of them down in the caves as well if we do this on a skeleton This is what's been improved it now goes around the texture So previously it was the outline of the skeleton that had the glow and now it's part of the inside as well And there's been a few other mobs that had issues with that as well So it looks like they've gone through the bug track and just found all the ones pertaining to the uh, glowing effect and then applied them. So there's some fixes that have been done in this while that aren't really like, you know, game changing or anything like that. Um, so on to the next one, quite important actually to know. If you've been playing in snapshots and you've got a horse or a minecart, you know that riding on these off into the distance doesn't load or generate the world and that causes issues. You'll ride off and there'll be no more world for you to ride into. So that one has been fixed which makes the snapshots playable again if you choose to uh, to play on them to some extent. Uh, as well as that another thing that's been changed is bats when you're in creative mode they won't fly away from the player so I've you know spawned these in they found a little place to rest and apparently bats can rest in the same spot together. That's interesting right there. Can I nudge them? No, they're going to push me away. <laughs> um, yeah, but they don't interact with the creative player, so uh, creative player isn't going to fly away. Another small thing to mention is boats have also um, been changed to drop the correct block type. So when they break, they're actually going to drop, you know, birch wood planks as opposed to oak wood planks, which is what um, they had done previously. And apart from that, there is literally, you know, nothing else to mention. If you want to go through the bug tracker and have a look for yourself, you'll see that there's loads of little things. Um, like for example inside an enchanting table when you open up that menu sometimes the text can appear you know going off the edge a little bit and you know things like that don't really break or change the game so they don't need to be mentioned there's tons of stuff like that of course they are getting ready um, for a release it's not going to come out this year and my bet is probably not going to come out for a couple of months in 2016 as well but one day it will come out and if there's less videos from me you know why it's because there is very little to talk about um, so just keeping you up to date, I guess. So that's it from me this video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.